Oh well. This is the part that makes owning one of these a little bit more difficult. So let's have a look. Okay, I'm going to start to roll it out here. This here's the control module. Semi-solid state Gizmotron that I will remove and show you what's inside. Okay, we'll keep going. Oh. Okay, yeah, those are big tubes. Very big. These are Thyrotron tubes. These two tubes go to the uh, armature, the brushes on the armature, the direct 5 horsepower direct current motor that's back here. That feeds the armature. This here is the field tube. The, the motor has field coils and to vary the speed all, uh, the, the juice out of all these three is varied. The field is lowered for higher speeds and raised for low, lower speeds, okay? Now, <clears throat> these, uh, these tubes are pretty reliable. Uh, there's replacements that somebody's making that are solid state. I don't know how they hold up. I just don't know. But I kind of don't need to find out because I have this working and uh, I don't want to change anything <laughs> at this time. Now, an important part of these machines, if you're buying one of these and you want to run it on two, 220 volt, is uh, these two transformers right here. Th this one and that one are the filament to the filaments. They power the filaments inside these two tubes, the two big tubes. And that's like lighting a little light bulb or something. And uh, these massive transformers put out two and a half volts alternating current and that's all. And that voltage is critical for the operation of this machine. So when you're converting one or trying to make one run, it's extremely important that the filaments in these two tubes get two and a half volts. And you can adjust these taps as necessary to do that. Now another thing about these transformers is there's high voltage and low voltage transformers. This low voltage transformers here, and they can be used to 220 volts or 440. That's with the uh, low voltage transformers. You just wire them different. You put them in series. Okay. Now a lot of them came with uh, high voltage transformers, and the only thing you can do is replace them with low voltage ones or or have a boost transformer a small one to boost or, or I guess it'd be a reduction one uh, no it'd be boost to boost it to, uh, from 220 to 440 to feed these two transformers people have done it I haven't done it I haven't had to okay now those transformers are critical on, on, on how this uh, how this thing operates and the voltage they put into the into the tubes. Okay, now here's the trouble guy right here. This is the field tube, and it's a small Thyrotron tube. I don't I don't know. I haven't bought one for a while, but you can usually get them for a hundred bucks or something. It's not a big deal, and they last a long time. But they do wear out, and there's a lot of stress on this tube here because it powers. Uh, uh, the module and these uh, relay switches I showed in the electrical panel over here. So this is a hard working tube. And the machine, you know, uh, uh, it can fool you with this thing because this little tube works so hard it can work for a while and then maybe the machine uh, heats up and then it'll wig out or work in intermittently. And the only way to test, there's really not a, a reasonable machine to test these things, they're, they're high voltage, is you need a replacement. If you have this machine 
You need to get, get replacements and test them to make sure they work. And don't expect to buy one on eBay and have it work or, or work like it should, okay? So this is one of the things you're going to have to deal with here. And I don't think it's that big a deal. Okay. Now the filament transformer for this thing is back on the other side of the machine. But down at the bottom here is an important transformer here. This is the reference voltage transformer. It's not the transformer for the filaments for this little tube. Now this, this transformer here puts out about 36 volts and it's used as a reference um, in the module. And uh, when you turn the, the speed knob, um, it uh, picks up the signals in the, in the, mo in the module and uh, uses the uh, voltage out of this as a reference to, to vary the speed or to put it at any speed you set. At least that's how I'm pretty sure that works. You don't have to fully understand how all this stuff works to own the machine. All you have to do is know the pinch points and you want you want uh, correct voltage to these from these transformers, two and, a half, two and a half volts, alternating current. You got a mixture of DC current and alternating current, these things. So you gotta you gotta gotta look things over. Okay. Let's see. I think that about covers everything here on this side. Now I don't think there's any changes from 1960 to uh, 1983, at least not much, um, in this part of the machine here. Okay, so um, oh, one thing I wanted to point out is there's an air filter up here that, uh, you know, for cooling these tubes, and you want to make sure that filter's clean. And uh, one of the things you want to do if you're getting up in there, up in there with screwdrivers, is uh, cover this with some cardboard. Just, you know, so you're not dropping stuff on those expensive tubes. Okay, let's close this thing up. And here's where we're going next. I'm going to pull this thing off here, the module, and take the cover off of it and we'll have a look inside. Because I think that's where my little hiccup is. Now, okay. Oh, righty. 